Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius, this is a general forecast. So we are going to take a look at whatever comes out here. So it could be love, it could be work, career, finance. It could be whatever you need to know at this time. So we'll take it as it comes. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter, male or female watching. It could be past, present, or future energies. Please only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not making sense for you, then it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit or leave me negative comments. I will delete them. So please, again, only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not resonating, hold out for future readings, or you can check the description box below for past readings. Your general and love readings are there. I do consider them all timeless, so feel free to check that out if this is not resonating for you. So Sagittarius, welcome everybody. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and being healthy. All right, Sagittarius. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. And also, Sagittarius, you can also check the description box below in the pin top comment for the decks I'm using. Um, I believe that's only in the description box. If you're interested in any of these decks, would like to purchase them for yourself, um, Amazon affiliate links are listed below for your self-purchase if you wish to. Um, again, your love and general playlist are below as well as my social media links. So if you'd like to check any of those out, if you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, that info is below. If you're not comfortable with the energy exchange through PayPal, feel free to use the super chat during the premiere only, and you can tip, donate, or energy exchange through that method also if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right, Sagittarius. Whew, okay, let's see what is going on with Sag. <coughs> Sorry. All right, Sag. Let me drink of water. All right, let's see what's going on with you. My throat is getting like scratchy, tickly. <coughs> and and I was, I've been doing readings, and this is the first time I feel like this. So I don't know if some of you are sick or something like that. So let's see. We have water energy. So you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. If not, you could have heavy water in your chart or know somebody that has heavy water in their chart. Also, <coughs> sorry. In 24, water is 24, which is six, which is about healing, balancing energy. So water is the energy of going with the flow. It's about emotions, um, kind of energy also um, about intuition. So there may be an energy here of needing to go with the flow or dealing with feelings, emotions of some kind, um, listening to your intuition kind of energy also. You know, it's about movement, fluid, you know, fluid movement. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. It could be about deep feelings and emotions also. All right, so this deck here, I'm gonna get an opening message for you and then we'll pull another one for your energy, energy you may be in right now. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot and then we'll look at your situ uh, situation whatever it may be, whatever comes out here, advice, possible outcome, and then we'll get some extra messages here with the Work Your Light Oracle. Of course, I always look at the bottom of the decks also. All right, for Sagittarius at this time, what is their opening message, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Okay. So we have the Eyes of Beauty. This has been coming a lot, um, out a lot here. Positive expectations and clarity, and we do have seven there. I'm sorry about the glare. So seven is about a divinely guided spiritual energy. Positive expectation. So either you're um, in an energy of expecting positive expectations or you're hoping for positive expectations. You could have clarity on a situation about a positive outcome or you need clarity to have a positive outcome. But you're being divinely guided and led um, and spiritually um led here with the seven seeing maybe things through new eyes a new way of looking at things she's kind of wearing um a veil it's kind of covering her mouth and my throat was kind of scratchy itchy before you know i was coughing 
So maybe you're not communicating uh, feelings. Water is about feelings uh, to somebody. You could see them as very beautiful. Um, I feel like maybe you need clarity on some sort of expectation on something. <clears throat> or the veil will be lifted soon, which will give you clarity about an expectation or an outcome. So let's see what's going on. What's going on with Sagittarius? So this is your current energy. We have the Ice Queen. Ideas preserved, non-action, and entitlement. And we have 28, which is 10, which is about an ending, completion, but then there's always a new beginning. So there may be an ending or completion that's kind of on hold right now. Could be of the current situations going on. Because um, this is like frozen in time kind of energy, like taking a pause, a break, or freezing something, um, like preserving an idea, not taking action kind of energy. But it does say entitlement. So you could feel that you're entitled to something, but right now um, it's kind of like frozen frozen at the moment because I feel of the current situations. Or you could be um, associating here with somebody who was like an ice queen, kind of cold and icy. Could be around you in some way, shape, or form. Could be a friend, a family member. And But we have the owl here. It's about very wise energy. You could be dreaming here. She's kind of sleeping. We have the moon here, which is about cycles and phases. Stars here. Could be dreaming, wishing on a star. <laughs> kind of energy also, but can't take action right now. Like whatever your idea is or whatever you want to take action on, it's kind of frozen in time right now. But it's something you feel entitled to. King or queen, doesn't matter. <clears throat> or you could be stuck with somebody right now who's kind of like icy and cold. You know, while we're all in uh, isolation right now. Ice, isolation, ice queen. <laughs> all right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Sac the sacred union, partnership, and romance. And we have 27, which is 9. And 9 can be about wishes and dreams coming true. It can be about um, not giving up. It can be about stress, fear, worry, anxiety. It can be a very uh, stable, independent energy also. Also at the almost at the end of a completion of something. Because we have nine, ten. We have seven. We have six, seven, nine, and ten. But we don't have eight, which is about taking action. And we can't take action right now because of the current situation. So that's why everything is on hold and preserved right now. Wow. So you may be hoping for sacred union with somebody here, which you may feel is your divine counterpart, your soulmate. Somebody, and I just saw the queen of light here, somebody who may be uh, shining in their light or giving you hope and light here, uh, illumination, enlightenment kind of energy, celebration. We have six again, which is healing and ba balance. So there may be uh, an energy here of somebody that you see in a very good light, king or queen, doesn't matter here, and you're waiting on sacred union because things are on hold on a pause break of the current situation. And you could see this person is very beautiful. Um, you have a positive expectation about the whole situation. Maybe you have finally realized your feelings and emotions and having truth and clarity in the situation here. Also... Oh, wow. See, Sag. <clears throat> Knight of Cups, I just saw at the bottom of the deck, which is about moving forward in love. So, all right. Let's see what is going on for you, Sagittarius. It feels like almost like a love reading, but we'll see. Sagittarius. So, we take the energies as they come, as I said. So, could turn out to be a sacred union. There definitely is two lovers coming into sacred union. But right now because of the current situations everything's on hold all right let's see let's clarify this energy for Sagittarius please for Sagittarius the high priestess so you could see somebody as very intuitive or you could be listening to your gut your intuition your higher knowing but you may not be communicating to everybody so that's anybody so that's no communication right now but finally, you know, maybe listening to you got your intuition about someone you finally realize you have deep feelings for. 
But this water is frozen in time, so emotions kind of frozen in time right now because of the current situation. What else here? Knight of Pentacles, so very slow moving energy, taking forward movement very, very slowly. Smart, practical, analytical, wise uh, decisions, <clears throat> very stable energy. So taking a very stable, slow, uh, analytical approach, smart approach. Plus, again, that's a slow moving approach because of the current situation. So what else here? Sagittarius. Eight of Swords. So feeling a little trapped, mentally trapped, or just confined and trapped right now because of the current situation. So confined and trapped and physically, mentally, in every single way, I'm feeling. All right, what else? Sagittarius. What else for Sagittarius, please? Thank you so much. And there's the Knight of Cups showing up again. I've seen it on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're stuck and frozen in time. Of course, we all are, but you're wanting to move forward. <laughs> Two knights here. So moving forward in love, but very slow, practical approach here because of the current situation. May not be able to move forward here till fall time or summer, summer into fall. All right, what else here for you, Sagittarius? What else for your current energy? Queen of Wands. So that's your energy, king or queen. Or somebody else could be a fellow fire sign that you see is uh, very like illuminating, like angelic. And there's that queen of light there. So it almost is like the same kind of energy. So, so it could be your energy or somebody else you see, fellow fire sign, as very angelic, fiery, passionate, go-getter, determined kind of energy. All right, what else? What else? For Sagittarius. <clears throat> what else for Sagittarius? What is this energy? The Hermit, yeah. Well, yeah, we're all in Hermit stage right now. So again, deep introspective, soul-searching journey work, finding your way, your path, your light, and maybe someone's helping you do that in some way, shape, or form. Um, but we're all in Hermit mode right now. So there is no fiery, passionate action forward, which the Queen of, King or Queen of Wands would do. But you could be see somebody in that light. And knowing, you know, because she's kind of, he or she is looking at the King or Queen of Wands like that's my light. Because they're holding the light up to the Queen of Wands, King or Queen of Wands. So is this knight wanting to move forward with the light also to this King or Queen of Wands. But we're stuck. We're stuck here in hermit mode. So there's no action. The action is stuck in the middle under ice <laughs> because of the current situation. Wow. All right. So I feel like emotions frozen in time. So let's see what the actual situation is here. So we got temperance. So there's your energy, Sag energy, finding, you know, peace, harmony, balance, being patient, patiently waiting, divinely guided energy. Divinely guided energy bringing in this angel. Usually as an angel here, usually brings in the soulmates that are meant to be. So let's see. Seven of Cups. So feeling a little disillusioned, um, confused about this whole situation. There we got the full moon. So it's like waiting, waiting for this whole cycle in the world to end right now. But feeling a little confused and disillusioned in the meantime. What else for your current situation? I wanted three more. The hanged man. Yeah, things are frozen. Paused on a break right now. But gaining enlightenment, new perspectives on the situation. Seven of Pentacles. So investing, um, investing, analyzing, assessing situation here. Um, before moving forward, again, Investing, wondering to invest, to continue investing if I've invested wisely. So assessing, again, the whole situation. That's waiting, more waiting. Waiting, waiting, <laughs> waiting. And the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen here. Somebody who's very smart, practical, analytical, um, financially set, 
or good in finances in some way, shape, or form, king or queen, growth, abundance, prosperity, long-term abundance, some way, shape, or form. So you could be, you know, <clears throat> working on you, your finances, your career, your stability, getting into that king or queen mode while we're all in this, like, hermit mode, investing wisely, assessing situations here while we're in this pause. But, you know, still feeling a little confused or disillusioned, but it's telling you here, you know, you're having patience with yourself. It's divinely guided energy, peace, harmony, balance, balancing yourself out, you, your finances, your career, going in that direction while we're frozen in time. But I feel like definitely here you see someone who is your beacon, your light, who you feel like is your soulmate. But I feel like you haven't told anybody that. Maybe not even this person. Maybe how deep your feelings run with the water energy there. Like you could see them as very handsome, beautiful, whatever your situation is. And it's like you want to move towards him, but you can't. You want to block any obstacles. She has that, I don't know what you call that thing there. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, stiff maybe. Um, you want to block any, cut away any block, blocks or obstacles to this person, but you can't right now. All right, so let's see what your advice is. So we have the wheel. Well, you're coming out again in your reading. So this is divine fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in the right direction. So better things are coming. Things will go in the right direction. This is your advice, guidance, what you need to know about the situation, about the sacred union. All right, this is divinely guided energy. What else? What else for Sag, Sagittarius, Four of Cups. So you're feeling bored, complacent, blah. Again, uh, like not just feeling very bored and complacent, you know, like stuck, stuck energy again. All right, what else? What else here for Sag or your advice? Six of Cups. So this definitely is a soulmate energy, past life soulmate energy, somebody you knew from the past, somebody you went to school with from your childhood, you worked with a long time ago um, energy, but definitely is a soulmate energy here and definitely could have had past lives with them. All right. So what else? What else? There's that healing, balancing energy of six again. <clears throat> what else for Sagittarius for their advice or guidance? Two of Wands. So being at a crossroads, needing to make plans, decisions for the future. It's like you're looking at the future, looking ahead, but can't do anything about it with the Four of Cups energy. Past life soulmate, soulmate energy here that you're looking to, looking for, for the future. But right now being at that crossroads and feeling kind of bored, trapped, <clears throat> blah. But the wheel is here to say that Fate, destiny, divine timing is coming. Better things are coming. Uh, things going in the right direction. So, again, to be patient and wait for this divine. Whatever is coming for you is meant to be with the Wheel of Fortune. So, all right. Definitely is with a soulmate, past life soulmate. You may be a little unsure with the Four of Cups. <clears throat> You know, being at a crossroads and not sure what to do. So let's get um, the two of wands. I just want to clarify a little more. Two of wands, this nine of swords. So having stress, fear, worry, and anxiety about being at this crossroads or needing to make this decision for the future. And then about a lover here. So here's soulmate, sacred union <clears throat> with two lovers here that are meant to be together. Two lovers, soulmates here kind of energy so you're at a crossroads about what to do with this soulmate past life soulmate having a little bit of fear stress worry anxiety about this because everything's just frozen in time right now <sighs> emotions frozen in time all right so let's get whatever your situation you're in now i could see that you're bored and you're feeling trapped there all right, it's like you want to go down this journey, this road here, but you can't because you're, you're stuck. <laughs> All 
All right, so what is a possible outcome here for you, Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles. So, yet yeah, still holding back, holding on, not giving, not taking, holding on to your stability. All right, what else for the possible outcome? Maybe energetically or, you know, mentally not really letting go of this person either, but not giving either. Page of Swords. So here's truthful, honest, open communication. Could be spying on this person online. Online spying. Online communication. Perhaps honest communication. All right, what else for... Sagittarius for the possible outcome here. Page of Pentacles, so making an offer. So I feel like solid, grounded, secure, stable offer. So somebody's going to make an offer here for long term of some way, shape, or form. Very slow moving energy, though. Again, uh, communication can be very slow. Taking steps very slow. But it's a solid, grounded offer honest truthful communication or you know spying right now but right now in an energy of not giving not receiving but yet holding on but not letting go also but an offer will be made with the page of pentacles of some kind so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck we have the stars this is divinely guided energy healing energy fate destiny divine timing again divinely guided energy faith hope optimism wishes and dreams coming true Fiery, passionate, new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Exciting. Nine of Cups, wishes and dreams coming true. Fulfillment in every single way. But there needs to be a walking away of some kind of deceitful energy here. So whether it's you or your person, whatever situation you're in now that you're stuck in, could be you or your person, not happy, feeling bored, trapped, complacent. <clears throat> there needs to be a walking away of that energy. Deceitful, stuck energy in some way, shape, or form to bring balance back into your life. Six of Pentacles energy, so that's a balance, equal, uh, equal reciprocity between two. Putting in the dedicated effort and work on something here. <sighs> so here we have the eight with the action, travel, and communication. But somebody needs to take the lead, take control of this situation. Stand up and fight for it and not give up. And leave some sort of energy out in the cold behind. And move forward and fight and not give up. And take lead and take control and take action. Here, and put in the dedicated effort and the work to bring balance. Okay, so let's see. We have Aries. We have, let's see. We have Aquarius. We have Pisces. Let's see. We have Gemini. We have your energy, Sagittarius. Sagittarius again. Pisces. Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn for some. Virgo. Queen of Wands energy here is Aries. Uh, the Knight of Cups here is Scorpio. And the Knight of Pents there could be Taurus. So we got a lot of different energies there, but they could be any sign. So don't get too caught up on the signs. All right, I just saw the Ace of Pentacles, which is a stable new beginning for the long term. Justice, <clears throat> somebody could be dealing with something in the justice field. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> Sagittarius. I do have Sagittarius. If you're new, um, you like my style and how I read, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. You get a general like this. You get a love reading. You get a singles love reading. You get uh, messages from spirit reading and a bonus reading where I take a little look at love, life, and advice for you. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Like what you see. Subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out in a video. Thank you. So let's get some extra messages for you. Sagittarius. 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 And this Queen of Light energy um, kind of reminds me of the Sun energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. All right. So 
<clears throat> All right. All righty. Sagittarius. Extra messages for Sagittarius. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns. Healing. Rewriting the future. So I feel like you'll be breaking the chains that are binding you for your future and moving in a new direction. Coming out of the cave <laughs> here. Something you feel stuck and bound to. I feel like you're going to be breaking that chain. <clears throat> Rewriting your future. Healing. We do have the star energy there, which is major healing. Divinely guided energy. All right. So what else for Sagittarius here? Star seed. What lights you up? Again, with the light energy over here. So you could be dealing with somebody who could be um, a star seed or could be very spiritually connected or work in, you know, the spiritual field of some kind. But... I feel like they light you up in some way, shape, or form. So we have the Queen of Light there. And we have the Star Light. One more. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new new world into being. So I feel like, and it kind of reminds me of the star energy here. So birthing, you know, wishing upon a star. Uh, birthing a new life. Dreaming of a different world. A new world for you. Sagittarius. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So again, maybe setting healthy boundaries for yourself, uh, whatever they may be, whatever situation you're stuck in now or for the future. Knowing your boundaries is setting healthy boundaries for yourself, Sag. Okay, Sagittarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.